All right, I'm Nick. Today we are going to unbox the brand new Springfield Armory four and a quarter inch comp. Uh, I am pretty excited about this. Now, I will say that I am a day one purchaser of the original Springfield Prodigy four and a quarter inch, and that thing was a giant disappointment. I owned it for probably six weeks where I took it to a gunsmith, did all kinds of stuff, rebent and tweaked magazines, all kinds of stuff. It would not run or feed ammo reliably whatsoever. I ended up selling it to a guy who wanted to replace the internals, okay? Uh, and I had it running pretty good at that point, and he knew that every once in a while it just had a hiccup. Uh, I am hoping that they have worked out those issues and out of the box this thing runs smoothly or I'm going to be super upset, all right? Uh, I did purchase this myself. Uh, obviously, our local dealer has a great, you know, great system and he gets guns very quickly. There probably aren't very many of these in random folks' hands yet. Unboxing it, you get a 20-round magazine, you get some hex heads, you get their AOS system for mounting various optics, comes with a lock, and you get a soft case for the pistol. In here, there's a 15% discount, I believe, and there's a QR code so you can scan it to unlock the manuals for the gun. They're all electronic, okay? Uh, which is okay. I kind of prefer having a piece of paper myself, though, but that's not a big deal. When you open this bad boy up, it does come with a 17-round flush-fitting magazine. Um, it is smooth. It is everything the original Prodigy was. Obviously, you have an ambi thumb safety. You have a grip safety. You have a tritium front sight, blacked-out rear sight, a giant port or comp. Uh, you have a nice rail system to mount any kind of rail light you want to put on there in the future. We will definitely shoot it first without a light. That way we can see how much that comp is working. But that comp's giant, so I really expect it to be pretty flat shooting. Uh, grip texture, I'm a big fan. I thought it was great. Lots of room for your support hand. I like this pistol. Most of you are right-handed, so you'll be holding it something like that. Uh, I like this pistol. I think it is a great system if it would work well, okay? Price point on this, I think, is $1,500, $1,600. I paid a little bit less than that, uh, but that should be what you get it for if you pick up one at the beginning of release, all right? Uh, I'm excited about it. I plan on going to shoot it. The trigger itself, uh, just a little bit of take up, and there's a little bit of creep there. You can kind of see it, and then it goes off. Uh, a little bit of take up. A little bit of creep. You can kind of see it there. Uh, that's that's okay. It's not a three thousand dollar pistol. We'll see what happens. I expect it to run smoothly and shoot reliably. Question mark. All right. That's it. That's the unboxing. If you guys have any questions about it, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.